Cheers. Slow, slow morning here in Europe. We just had a bout of Aussie buying against a multitude of currencies, Aussie yen, buying Aussie against Euro, and buying Aussie against the dollar. Looks like the market's caught short a little bit of Aussie here. Otherwise, not much to report. We had dollar CAD as expected this morning travel up to about 37 but then came back ended up as a scratch printed now low of 90 but we're just sort of back at 03 where we started nothing much to report there uh, in general equities are risk on you've had uh, stocks cruising higher this at 25 94 and a half is the big big point this week in this Thanksgiving shortened week not much to do here at 87 um, but we're just keeping an eye on that elsewhere we've had dollar yen just 40 60 all day not much to report there this is kind of the most important chart I think this uh, euro Aussie we have a lot of long accumulation here since 150 now we're seeing the first sort of momentum driven down move here through 154.88. If this continues, uh, you know, you could see this you know, continue for 100 points quite easily. It's Euro Aussie. Euro Aussie moves quite, quite quickly. And you can see even both parts are contributing so euro is on its lows and Aussie it's on its highs so keep an eye on this euro Aussie looks like we're gonna spend some time going down uh, if you didn't already get short through 155 maybe a cheeky little uh, sale and around 75.85 with a stop at 05 might get you paid alright we're waiting now we've got uh, very little US data coming out and some housing data today um, some minor Canadian data so just kind of in waiting mode for the next session this year Aussie looks like the best way to monetize so give it a shot um, with a tight stop on for 155.08 good luck